Moving on, ma mi mu me mo. Ma mi mu me mo. Ya yu yo. Ya yu yo. Ra ri ru re ro. Think Scooby Doo. And the plan usually entails you and me being. Yeah, the R's are a bit tricky in that, looking around on the internet, some pronunciations of this little series of characters sort of sound like they have an L sort of sound, and even some that sound like a D, even. Da di do de do. Here we go. Ready? Okay, go ahead. La di do de do. Okay, you want to try, you want to try it too? Okay, ready? La di do de do. Okay, <laughs> fine. So, and, then, and um, Tokyo people say it the same way. Yes. There you go. It's just like R, it's just an R sound, right? It's not an L sound. L? You think it's L or R? Uh, that's a difficult question. Just try to imitate the sound and you'll be fine. I'm not sure if this is an accent thing or what, but we'll be sticking to the R sounds for the sake of brevity. Last up is wa and o. Wa, o. And last but not least is n, sometimes replaced with an m in certain words. The eagle-eyed among you might have noticed the variations that have dashes and circles. These symbols, in essence, are additional characters that help to expand the Nihongo language and add more combinations. There are also glides that combine a normal character with a smaller variation of ya, yu, or yo. A famous example including... <laughs> There's also the case of having tiny su symbols before a character. Though in this case, the tiny su adds to the pronunciation rather than being an amalgamation of two characters. Some examples include... Nippon. Yukuri. Yappari. Kitte. And Zashi for magazine. This is not to be confused with double vowels, however. Both are similar in that they include the two copies of the same character, However, double vowels come after a previous character with an extra copy of said character instead of substituting a different character. Also unlike the tiny su, where there's a slight deliberate pause in the middle of a word, a double vowel is just an extension compared to words that don't have it. Some examples include the following. Obasan, which means aunt, and obasan, which means grandmother. Ningyo meaning mermaid. And we have ningyo meaning doll. And then we have biru meaning building. And biru meaning beer. Needless to say, a tiny mix up in word usage can lead to some rather silly circumstances. But then I suppose that's par for the course for any language if you think about it. Okay, that's it for today's mission. Check the description for your challenge on this mission! Hope you all enjoy and have a nice day!